Hello there everybody, it is me Feaser Bunny, and welcome back to part 6 of the Sims 4 House Building Downtown Abbey or High Clear Castle in real time. Okay you guys, I'm actually really really excited to get back into this because as you guys noticed, I did give myself a couple of days a break from building Downtown Abbey in the Sims 4 because it has such, it has been such a challenge for me. Anyway, this is how, what we have, you know, not exactly 100% exactly like how they have it in the original you know downtown abbey but i think it's close enough you know i think you get the effect that i'm going for anyway um today i'm really really excited because we're gonna be doing the servants quarters which is you know usually not the focal point of a great house like downtown abbey but um i just want to tell you guys that i actually just finished watching the new episode of downtown abbey episode two of season five um may country does have delayed telecast but i find my ways you know i find ways to watch downtown abbey but anyway uh it was really really good if you guys don't know what's going on in my opinion i feel like mary and charles blake should definitely end up together i just feel like it you guys i mean like seriously though mary why are you going for freaking mr gillingham and anyway so so far this is what we have literally probably 25 to 30 percent of the house done you know we've finished all the major rooms and now we're gonna get work on we're gonna get some work done on the servants quarters as i've said before and the first thing that we're gonna do is the kitchen actually which is for me i think it's gonna have to be here okay so let me just grab my phone here really quickly and see um what the kitchen of downtown abbey looks like okay so the kitchen has like some windows on the side actually i think um we need to figure out where the door of the kitchen is gonna be though okay let's see here obviously it's not gonna be exactly the same but i'm gonna try my best to like make it as close as possible you guys anyway um, okay, I feel like, um, the stove thing should be over here. There's, like, a thing here with, the, like, the stove inside of it and stuff like that. I don't know. It's a really, really interesting design, I guess, I guess for a stove area. But anyway, um, and we also need to put some windows as well. Um, the kitchen of Downton Abbey apparently is supposed to be underground. So the windows that it have, it has are actually kind of, like, located, um kind of on the upper upper part of like the kitchen and stuff like that i don't know let's see here from the outside how it looks oh my god okay we just lost like the the things there anyway let's see here what kind of windows do i like though um i'm not so sure you know you guys if you guys didn't know i'm actually doing this in real time like i'm making the decisions as we go so like please don't hate me if i make like the wrong decision um the first time round <laughs> you know I'm sorry, nobody's perfect, you guys. Okay, let's make it like that, actually. I think I like it like that. I don't know. Doesn't look like Downton, but I don't know, does it? What do you guys think? I think it's okay. You know, I think let's just use that. There's supposed to be arched windows, though, but we don't have those similar ones like that in this house like in the selection for the sims 4 apparently so yeah let's just do that for now and then of course we're gonna color this wall a nice little brick color over here as well and okay so the kitchen has an interesting kind of peachy greenish color actually if i do say so myself i don't know i think it really depends on the lighting that they have but i don't it, it looks like it has like a peach type of color or like even a dark I don't know a grayish green i guess this it, it would be the best way to describe like the wallpaper that they have so maybe i'm looking at this one actually which is kind of an interesting similar color um honestly you guys i don't hate it <laughs> i think it's okay actually um anyway and the kitchen has some really really large tiles for the floor like gigantic uh tiles for the floor maybe these ones actually look really close Okay, unfortunately, you can't change the color of that, though. So, yeah. Uh, maybe if we find something else. Something somewhere else, I mean. Any ooh, this is nice. Uh, we can't change the color. Okay, let's stick, let's stick to that for now. Anyway, like I was saying earlier, the kitchen had some really interesting architectural details to it. Like, an archway over here, actually. So, let's actually... Um, I keep saying actually, actually, I blah. Sorry, you guys. I'm like out of it. But anyway, let's try to add like a nice little archway over there if we can. 
Can we not? Why does it look like that though? It looks really weird. Okay, let's see here. If we use this one, can we put that there? Nope, we can't. I'm, I'm not so sure you guys what's going on. But anyway, let's just do it the manual way of doing it. And let's just use um, these ones, I guess. What do you guys think? Um, I think these are okay. You know, I use this all over the house, if you guys haven't noticed. I think they're just really pretty. They, they just kind of, I don't know. I think they're really nice. Architectural detail that would make this version of Downton Abbey uniquely mine, I guess. And um, let's see how the how I did in the other. You guys see how I did it in the other rooms over there? Okay, and this is actually where the stove is supposed to be. So Downton has a large stove, you guys. Really, really large stove, actually. Um, I'm thinking placing two stoves and then probably even have like a fridge on one side of it two over there i guess what do you guys think um yeah maybe two stoves over here and then even like a fridge i'm like being super fidgety about like i don't know about like every single detail though i think that that works actually kind of and then behind the stove they have like a nice little tile wall which is also really interesting. I think this is the wall where I apparently the cameraman cameraman like remove or something like that. I don't know. I'm like super confused right now. Doesn't look like that though, the wall that they have. Um I'm looking for like a more kind of bathroomy look to the tile. Maybe even this one. It's it's like yellow. It's like I don't know. I don't like the color of that. Maybe this one. I don't know. That's not like even remotely close to what they have there. Um, this one could work actually. What do you think? What do you guys think? Um, that's a nice color. This one. Literally, that's probably like the closest we're gonna get. Look at all the look at how the tile shines though, you guys. It's really pretty. It's so freaking pretty. Um, if this came in like one solid color, that would be so freaking awesome. Let's go for that. Why not? Uh, you know what? I like the other one better. Um, I guess we're just going to have to go with that for now. I think it's not bad. Uh, of course, I would wish that it looked like the actual thing, but whatever. It works, kind of. Okay, and of course, we're just going to keep all the those things black for now. And then we're going to put some interesting stove tops, actually. I think it's what you call them. Um, I, if it works, I'm not so sure though. If it looks freaking fugly, I'm not gonna keep them, pretty much. Uh, these ones look really pretty though. I wish this- oh, crap. I wish this came in like a black. That would have made my day, like, so- That would have made me so freaking happy though. But anyway, let's see if I can put that there. I can't- oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? I guess I can't put that there. Nope, I can't. Let's see here. I guess we're going to have to settle for, of course, settle for maybe this one. It looks too modern, though. What do you guys think? Um, this one look, would have been perfect if it was the, the right color. Okay, let's do that. I think that kind of works, I guess. What do you guys think? I think it's okay. Yep, I think it's okay. And so let's just put some nice little clutters over there as well. Let's go to decorations. And literally, though, you guys, I feel like I'm just inventing. Oh, we can even put like that, actually. What do you think? If I can put... I can't even put that there. Oh, I'm so sad. Anyway. Let's see if we have some nice little wall decorations. This would... Oh, my God. That would look so... That's actually kind of perfect. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Or maybe even something like this. What do you guys think? One on each side. Um, you know what? I like the other one better. I think it could be like the menu of Miss Mrs. Patmore. Or was it Miss Patmore? I forgot. Um, okay, that's gonna be it for like the main stove area of the kitchen i guess i think it looks adorable though you guys yes 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 i like it a lot anyway let's put th that nice little um i don't know what you call this um what do you call this a uh, master chef rack or something like that let's use the victorian looking one i think it looks freaking adorbs you know what i think i like this one better though 
Yeah, I like that one better. It's a large kitchen though, you guys. It's a really, really big kitchen. Um, let me just, okay. My phone keeps like turning itself off for some strange reason. Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, so in the middle of the kitchen of Downton Abbey, there is this large table. Actually, it's a table or it's like, I don't know. It's kind of like a counter as well. Maybe it could be a counter for our version. Um, I, I guess that's gonna have to work, you know, I think it looks nice, I guess. Anyway, let's just do that, and then, it's just a square table, though, nothing too crazy. Um, let's see, I'm just looking for a nice color, maybe that, I think that's a lovely color. Okay, that's okay. And then it's gonna be maybe that long, what do you guys think? Uh, at the center, I want it at center, okay, I want it on center. Or I want it on center. Anyway, let's see here. Um, is this the corner? Yeah, it's yeah. Let's use. Let's take the corner of that, and then over here as well, so that it becomes a nice little center island. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and then um, let's just make sure that it kind of loops. Um, honestly, you guys, if it's one thing about The Sims 4 that is better than The Sims 3, I think th the kitchens in The Sims 4 are miles better than what than how they used to have them in The Sims 3. I just think so. I think they're just so much better this time around, and I think that's one thing that I really do applaud the people of the, the, the worked on The Sims 4. It's because they really just do have better kitchens than The Sims 3. Yes, I love it. I love the kitchens. And The Sims 4 especially. Um, you know what? Just to make things symmetrical, I just want to put like a nice little, you know, thing over here as well. A nice little wall. I don't know. It's just, it's just my personal preference. I don't even know if they have that in Downton. I, I know though that it kind of happens as well in this servant's dining area. So I'm just going to do that as well over here. And of course we have to repaint all these walls as well. Oops. And in case you guys didn't know, I've been really, really busy this week. So if I'm like, yeah, I kind of gave myself a little bit of a break from Downton Abbey. Just because I, it was really becoming really stressful, you guys. Um, but whatever, I'm still having fun. So yes, yes, it's just quite fun if I do say so myself. Um, anyway, let's just put that there. Um, literally though, probably the rest of this, I'm just gonna have to, like, kind of reimagine. I guess would be the right word, you know, because I don't know. I just want this to be nice. Uh, okay, let's just do it like that awesome 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 let's just do that on either side like i'm like i said like i was saying you guys i'm kind of just reimagining things here because i don't know i'm just doing my best you know it's not 100 percent. i keep saying this to you guys but yes it's not gonna be 100 percent freaking downton abbey because it is impossible to recreate things in the sims for you know, I think in any Sim series, it's impossible to create something from real life anyway. So I'm just doing my best here to pretty much give you guys, like, the best iteration I can do of this particular home. And so far, I think I'm doing a good job because I've been getting some really positive feedback from you guys. So thank you so much to everyone who comments. You know, commenting really takes a lot of effort, honestly. And I'm very, very grateful to each and every one of you guys who really do take the time and comment and suggest things to me because it really does help me out a lot, honestly. And then let me just put a nice little table over there to replace. What do you guys think? I think the table kind of looks like what they have in Downton. Yeah, I think the t table looks better. Even though I wish it was like the same height as the... I'm not sure. What do you guys think? I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's different. I guess. You know what? Let's just put it back. What we had. Anyway, and there's like some clutter over there. So let's see here. What kind of clutter? We have tons and tons. Oh, I forgot that this is where like the... Um, you know what? I think I, have, I might have to put... Yeah, I think I might have to put this place over here actually. Let's switch it around. Or, like, let's flip it around, actually. Whatever, you know what? I'm just gonna put this at the center. 
I love I love it when things are like super symmetrical and stuff. And yeah, all that good stuff. Um, you know what? Let's just get rid of that wall because it's been bothering me. I don't think we need to have like the t the tiles and the wall and stuff like that. Let's just put that there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then let's just copy that over there pretty much. And I really like how the kitchen looks, you guys. If I was given the chance to have like a Victorian style kitchen, I would really want to have probably you know without even giving it a second thought the, the downtown kitchen would be like one of my top i, I just think it's so freaking pretty though and let's see here yeah like i was saying we need to like put like some pots and pans and stuff oh you know what let me just put the um the plumbing things over here oh yeah we can put like an actual like legit sink here i guess what do you guys think maybe something like even something like this actually that is adorable. It's really cute. I like that. Uh, if it would come in our color, that would make it freaking perfect. It's either that color or I don't know. Let's go for. Let's go with that for now. It is an adorable sink though, and yeah, like I was saying, we need to put like a ton, a freaking crap ton of clutter over in this area over here so first things first i feel like we need to have like some towel racks and stuff like that i don't know what do you guys think towel racks um if if the maids are like washing their hands and stuff i don't know oh we need to put these oh my god don't tell me i can't put them i can't put them on the shelf now i'm freaking depressed oh 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 i really wanted to put them on the shelves though i can't oh I really wanted to put them on the freaking shelves. Why can't I put them on the shelves? Okay, let's see here. Can I put this one? I, I, I can't even put that one on the freaking shelf. Anyway, I think there's like another category for those things. I think these are the ones we can put on the shelves. Uh, okay. Hmm. That one doesn't belong in the kitchen, I'm pretty sure. This, uh, I guess this spice thing these knives where do they put the knives in the downtown kitchen though i'm not sure i'm like really confused right now okay what they have here is actually just um it's it's just pretty much pots and pans so let's just put these things over here you know random pots and pans i guess and one more you guys can hear like literally the train pass by my window every time i do these lps i'm not even gonna bother complaining let's just do that it kind of looks like crazy uh i i don't i don't exactly really like how it looks though i'm not so sure um i should really like put more effort into like putting <laughs> these clutter all over the place but i'm like i just can't be bothered you guys i'm like okay if it looks decent, then I'm gonna go for it because I think there's just a ton of things we need to do in the rest of the house that needs more attention, I guess. Um, I don't know, maybe like that. Let's see here. Let's let's put just maybe one and then another another nice little jar over here as well. I think that works. What do you guys think? Ah, it looks adorbs, you guys. I wish we had like more pots and pans. But maybe that would come like in a later expansion or something. We can even put like some camp. Okay, we can't put the candles. Never mind. These things are too modern, obviously. There's even a nice little coat rack over there. It's nice. Um. So yeah, there's like a ton of interesting things that you can put actually. Um. I'm just a little bit sad that I can't put like all these other things. Maybe. Okay. There we go. There we go. We can put these ones. Which are probably like some of my favorite like decorative items. I don't know. I just really like these ones. Can I put like the wine? I can't put the wine. Um, let's see here. Is this milk thing? I think I hope we can put it there. We can't even put the milking thing. I'm so sad. I really want to put this thing though. Nope, I can't. Okay, never mind. It takes me forever to like except the fact that i can put the thing okay you know what whatever let's just use um let's actually put some lights now <laughs> i'm like okay it, that's why it's so dark i think these lights would work well or maybe even these ones 
that's kind of depressing bro what do you guys think um you know what let's use these ones i guess it is kind of a posh house anyway so i think we could make do with some really nice ornate lights i guess yeah i guess that works actually and we also need to put like some nice little clutters as well over in this area so let's just put everything that we can't place on that one area and then let's just try to put as much as we can i guess over here okay let's just put all that stuff over there and then this one over there as well literally though everything even the kitchen sink does kind of look a little bit like down to now yes 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 and you can even put like okay you know what never mind the freaking spice yeah never mind that i i think that's something that you would never ever see in a victorian kitchen anyway what do they have here though i'm i'm thinking maybe just some blank tables or something i don't know just get that plop that thing over there and then um I think that's an okay color actually and then let's do that over here as well i guess this is like the area with they where they would like prepare the things i don't know I just, I just really don't know you guys and okay we can even put like okay you know what yeah we can even put like these nice little shelf things as well shelf things you guys i'm like freaking i need to like improve my vocabulary i guess I think it works. I got. I, I. I really like it though. And then let's just kind of emulate the arrangement that we have over here. Um. Let's just grab that as well. And just grab these nice little cookie jars. That actually, I really like because I think they occupy a good amount of space, and I like that. You know, I like every time I put a, I put like some clutter. It does consume quite a nice amount of space. Ah, I like it. I like it a lot actually and so let's actually just put this thing over there so that i would have something in it and then over here i guess or something like that i think that works then we can leave that one thing over there and then i think the last thing we need to do for the kitchen would probably be yeah would probably be the door let's do um a nice little door here and so let's see where is the door um i think the kitchen in downtown just has like an archway leading to it though so let's see here um yeah i think an archway would be nice that is just crap though okay let's let's do that i think that works and then the color of it can be changed slightly nothing too crazy um yeah i think the white one looks good and then we also need to put like some clutter here as well um oh okay okay we actually have like we're supposed to have like a thing over here okay let me just transfer that over here make sure it's like the right height and then we actually have like i don't know what you call these things like china cabinets there we go we have a china cabinet over here actually supposed to be so let's just grab one of those um let's see here where are the china cabinets i think they're in miscellaneous there we go okay we have one like this i think downton has something that's closer to that let's go for that one and let's make it like a nice little wooden color or maybe oh my god these ones I've, oh my god that is perfect i've never ever used these at all so and i think they look absolutely gorgeous you guys i'm like yes 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 please come in our colors i think that has to do i guess um yeah i think it looks lovely i i really do we can even put like some nice little wall shelves as well over here and then let's just put this nice little thing as well over there i don't know i just really like that jug it's cute and then maybe to finish up this place we can add like some random chairs and stuff See, I'm telling you guys that historical buildings really do have a lot of chairs. Like, they do have... They have chairs, like, all over the place. Like, literally. Let's just put one there. And then let's put a couple over here. Like that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's not exactly, like, 
100% how they have it in Downton Abbey, but I'm pretty sure this is the type of kitchen that Mrs. Patmore would really like. I'm pretty sure she'd like this. Um, if I can actually put this window over there. Yes, I can. Yes. Okay, and maybe... You know what? Let's not... Okay, let's do that. I'm happy, you guys, with a freaking kitchen. Oh, my God. Yes, yes, yes. All right, now we need to decorate. You know what? Let's literally, like, do... Oh, my God. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's see here. I guess we're just gonna have to make this room smaller. Okay, and let's extend this room a little bit like that. I think that, that that's okay. Let's plop that thing over there. That thing. Literally, though, my vocabulary is freaking crap. For today, uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to improve you guys. No, no promises though. And and let's just put these floors as well. Of course, for the other rooms, I think I'm gonna do the decorating off camera just so that we save ourselves like the time. I am really happy though with what we have achieved so far. I think it looks gorgeous. Yes, yes, yes. And then let's just put that over there, I guess. Um, okay, let's make it a little bit higher. And then one over there as well. And then let's just change the color of it into that nice little... Okay, that's lovely. Um, do we have, like, some sculptures and stuff? I think we can put... I, can, I think we can even put, like, some... You know, some decorative elements to this place. What do you guys think? Uh, or is it, like, too much of an overkill? I think it's, like, freaking overkill. But I really do want to place, like, some flowers and stuff. I don't know. I think they just make things look a little bit more um, brighter and stuff like that. I don't know. They, ju they just brighten up the place. Brighten up the place? I don't know. Let's make the place look a little bit more brighter and give them a little bit more personality. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> we're, we're putting the flowers, period. A dictatorship, you guys. No, I'm kidding. And let's just put that over there as well. I think it looks lovely. What do you guys think? I think it looks okay. The servants' quarters, I think, looks freaking adorable. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy. That's why I'm, like, <laughs> freaking out of it right now. And then let's just put this one little window over here as well. Supposed to be, though. This is, like, this area is supposed to be underground, but apparently not. <laughs> we don't have that option in The Sims 4, though, so maybe... You know, I, I really do think that I'm going to have to do an updated version of this build, like, in the future. You know, when we have all the expansion packs and all the stuff packs and all the d downloadable content and all that stuff. You guys should definitely be looking forward for that. Anyway, let me just copy these things. And then let's just plop that over there. Ooh. Do that. And then over here as well. Um... Let's see here, maybe like that, and then the other one over there. So this is going to be, in case you guys didn't get the notice, yeah, this is going to be the servant's dining room. Not Nothing too crazy happening here, actually. It just, it's more of like, um, what's happening in the servant's dining room, it's kind of like just tables and chairs and all that stuff, I guess. Yeah, pretty much a dining table. Um, one important thing, though, is actually, like, they have the bells. What You guys get what I'm saying? They have, like, the bell things. I'm not so sure. <laughs> bell things, though. No, I'm kidding. They have, like, these alarm bells, actually, for the for the main family, actually. And it's, it's when the family would, like, you know, call on the servants for, like... They would basically ring the bell... And then the servants would come running towards their service, I guess. So let's just put one over there. And then, you know what? I feel like we can even put, like, a couple beneath it. What do you guys think? Oops, I guess not. I, I, I like the upper one better. Let's do that. And then we can just put a couple of these ones as well. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe we can put, like, side by side, I guess one on like either side oh my god that looks so bad though i'm like seriously okay what is this is 
this like supposed to be some kitchen things? I don't know. Really, really interesting thing though. Okay, let's just make this thing bigger if we can. <gasps> it's huge though. It's freaking huge. <laughs> These are supposed to be just bells. Um, uh, it's okay. Maybe this one. That's kind of gigantic. I'm like seriously. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Let's just put the other one there the center and then i guess we can put like a menu on the side i literally like can't put anything on the side of it can i whatever i guess that works you know what if we find something over here whatever that works anyway um there's like a nice little table though let's put some surfaces and then let's put some accent tables oh my god yes I'm finally going to be able to use some of these accent tables that I've always wanted to use since, like, forever. Okay, that looks lovely. And then there's also, like, some two, two chairs over there as well. So let's just use these ones. And then that in that color, I think, looks lovely. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see. What else can we put on top of this table? Um, I'm just looking at, like, some... Some random clutter. Oh, there's actually a lampshade. Interesting. Let's put... Um, I think this would look lovely, though. I think... You know what? Let's put that, I guess. And just... Oh, there's some scales over here as well. If you can put that there. Literally, though, these, these scales. I've really wanted to put them everywhere, but it seems like I can't. Uh, yeah, I guess we're stuck with, like, that one other thing. <laughs> yeah, well, it looks nice anyway, so let's just put that there. And then let's put a nice little lampshade. Uh, let's see her. Let's see her. Hmm, just a really, really simple one for the staff, I guess. Uh, looks lovely. If I do say so myself. It does it does look a little bit bright. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. We can put this one. <laughs> really, really Victorian looking lampshade here, you guys. <laughs> Which is freaking perfect because it's freaking Downton Abbey. Um, is there like no place to put this? We can put like... Yeah, I guess we can put one over here. Just get rid of that and then put I don't know this is really adorable though plus it gives us some lights you guys it actually serves kind of a purpose yes 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 and then let's just do, do that okay fantastic I love that and then for the hallway actually we'll do that later on uh, let's do the staff uh, dining room first or the dining table actually let's see here um of course I've been I've been looking at this for like forever and I'm like that would make like a perfect staff dining table so let's just put that there um, I feel like I need to make it a little bit longer though what do you guys think maybe you know maybe two these ones would look be better what do you guys think I think that's better it looks like something the staff would literally eat at so yes and let's see here for the dining chairs maybe we're just gonna have to use these ones i don't know i'm just okay grab my phone and okay i think these ones would actually work um i think that th the default color looks lovely let's see here yeah i don't like these chairs because they don't look that victorian enough for me maybe these ones yeah if they come in like a nice little wooden color that would be perfect i'm just looking here really really quickly um for our options okay that would have been perfect i hate the color of the cushion though so i'm like yeah um i'm not sure i want to have a wooden chair though you know what, let's go for that. I think that looks okay. And I think Mr. Carson, the butler, actually has, like, a, a grander chair, doesn't he? Or does does he? I'm not sure. Um, I should have, like, studied, like, their seating arrangements and stuff like that. But I think... 
I'm gonna I'm, I'm just guessing that Mr. Carson has a grander chest. I'm just gonna put these on either side one for Mr. Carson and one for Mrs. Hughes Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then let's see here. What else do they have in like a staff area? Okay, they have like um Some shelving as well. So let's just get these ones. They're actually in black though Yes, let's do that I'm like that was a wild yes. Okay, let's do that. That looks lovely. Um, a couple of those over there. Very, very beautiful. And then let's see here. What do they have over here on this back side, though? <laughs> We're literally just speeding through the staff dining room. Okay, you know what? Let's actually just put a nice little table over here. I'm not sold by the clutter on this table, so I'm just going to put that there. And then... Um, that one we can put oops grab the wrong thing um that one we can put probably like you know what let's delete that we don't need that let's just put that one thing over there uh yeah at the center i think it's okay yes fantastic awesome 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 anyway let's just put that table over there oops oh my god freaking out here you guys Ooh. I love how it like <laughs> automatically like placed itself there. I want it come on, dude, seriously. I was able to place it on the other side though. Let's see here. I guess we're using gonna place these chairs first. Then let's yeah, the table can follow. Let's just put a nice little tea set over here for staff because I do believe they also have like their own tea time and stuff and let's just put this thing over there as well alrighty guys we are back and yeah somebody just called me a random person calling me on the phone but anyway let's see here okay like it, like it was saying I do want to have some nice little clutter things over on this area I'm not so sure what clutter exactly. Maybe like some. Okay, there we go. Maybe some of these ones. I guess the the end urn. The end urn. I'm not so sure how you pronounce it. Whatever. Let's just put that there. I think it works. What do you guys think? I think it's okay. Um, it's nothing too too crazy. Um, yeah, I think it's. It. I think it needs to be on center though. So I'm like, it's gonna bother me. Yeah, because I'm just like that. <laughs> There we go. It's not on center. Are you kidding me? I'm like, this is like seriously killing me though. I'm like, okay, there we go. That's that. And then that is that. It kind of sucks. Okay, let's see here. Uh, okay, that's lovely. Yes, it's okay. Now it does look like it's the staff quarters. Yay. And maybe I can even like put... Um, a nice little window over here as well. What do you guys think? Farmyard window. <gasps> that sounds horrible though. Um, let's see here. What do you guys think of a different window? Probably. That looks lovely actually. I like this. Um, for some strange reason. I just really do. Uh, let's make it. Um, even in the black though, it looks really beautiful. But I think the green looks really nice. Let's put the... Blah, change the color. Now, let's put the same window all over the house as well. I think it just looked really pretty to me. I don't know. Maybe just me, though. What do you guys think? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that looks really, really pretty, actually. So, let's put another one over here as well. Ooh. Oh, my. Okay. Oops. I'm not sure. I'm Now, I'm not sure. I'm like, what's it? What am I gonna do? Um, it's just a... You know what? Whatever. Let's just go with the other older windows that we have. I think they're a little bit better. Uh, oops. Nope. And, yep. Let's just go with these ones. I think they're a little bit better just because, you know, they're a little bit more predictable, I guess. And my mic just literally just avalanched all over my... That, whatever. I'm like, yeah... Ooh, I'm a little bit distracted here, you guys, after that phone call. Don't worry, it was nothing too, too crazy, but yeah. Okay, let's see here. I do want to add a, a kind of back door type of thing to this area over here. So let's just plop in a nice little door. That is a gorgeous door, though. Whoa. Um, actually, let's put it on, on the other side. Like, can I, can I, can't, can I not rotate it? 
there we go and then change it to a nice little green i think green is like the color of this area um i think it looks okay oh okay let's see here we need to put like a nice little foundation extension over here i think this is Ooh, what is this i'm i'm like what okay let's see here how can i put like put this thing and then let's okay there we go it is an actual foundation so let's just drag that and then let's place, place that there and hopefully it doesn't destroy anything um i freaking hope that it doesn't okay looks lovely looks fine um we need to put you know what these plants are actually bothering me for some strange reason i don't know i just really am not feeling them so let me just get rid of those here really quickly and i guess that's gonna be it for the servant's dining room okay there we go i guess we can put like a nice little side table over here as well what do you guys think um this one looks lovely too uh that looks really cute actually um let's just grab that and then let's plop in some nice little clutter stuff as well before that let's just oops let's just put these nice little chairs over there fantastic awesome 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 well the dining room in downtown abbey is literally though filled with chairs you guys so don't get all iffy on me i hope you guys wouldn't get freaking iffy on me if i'm putting like so many chairs though but yeah um the dining room in downtown abbey is kind of filled with chairs so so yeah anyway let's just grab no not lighting let's go to um actually yeah i wanted to put this one i, I don't know it's just cute and i have a soft spot for that one teapot for some strange reason and of course i want to put a plant maybe that that works okay <sighs> sorry if i just screamed at your guys' ears there for a second uh, actually let me just oh my god whoops i accidentally like deleted the thing okay let's do that what i actually wanted to do is just use these chairs actually on this side there we go that looks a little bit better um and i was also thinking of maybe placing some sort of rug oh that's too small uh maybe some sort of rug what do you guys think oh that's too huge you know whatever i don't think they have any rugs in the servants quarters of downtown abbey anyway so yes 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 i think that works yes i do think that kind of works you know what maybe we can even like move this thing over there and then let's just sell that um actually we can put like some nice little shelving over there that would be awesome but for um let's see here let's actually literally just copy the same exact arrangement that we have on that side of the house or that side of the servants quarters and so let's just grab that and then make sure that it's on center because i'm really iffy about making sure that everything is literally like on freaking center um i guess that can be that because this is kind of like the the kitchen area so i guess that can work and then this these things actually um i'm thinking actually you know what let's use the other board type of thing i don't know what it's called we can use the other um kind of reminder board or something sticker board like i don't know let's see here where is that okay it's probably in freaking wall decorations of course freaking leo not thinking okay let's use this one cute cork board oh my god seriously though i forgot that word i feel <laughs> and okay i think it works what do you guys think i think it looks lovely it does kind of remind me a lot of like a staff quarters and stuff like that one thing that i do want to point out you guys for this episode is that i'm sorry if the music is a little bit loud i'm just um uh yeah i, I, I kind of forgot the settings that i had for my other previous um videos so um yeah sorry if it's loud i don't think it is though but i think i really like how the servants quarters look right now even though you know what let's actually do this um the frame if i can put that there that would be amazing uh, i can't um like that oh you know what whatever i think the other this area works okay whatever cool beans okay i guess we still have time to work on a couple of rooms as well one thing that i really okay let's do this um we do have the time though so let's just you know do something about this kind of room over here uh let's do that really really general furnishing here you guys i'm like seriously 
not even putting any effort in this but just to like you know pretty much achieve some actual furnishing in the house already let's just grab these ones and then just plop them there and then over here maybe you know what a painting can probably go there and then over here oh my god oh my god that was like so crazy anyway okay let's do that and then um let's see here what else can i put in that room maybe a nice little light would work let's do this one my go-to light <laughs> and then over there as well what do you guys think yes you guys it's finally like taking shape i'm so freaking happy right now i'm like yes okay next thing that we're gonna do is actually gonna be mr carson's kind of not so sure what you call it mr carson's i just grabbed my phone there really quickly so that moment of silence though uh yeah mr carson's um pantry i guess is what, is what you call it i literally like busted my brain thinking about that but anyway let me just grab my phone here really quickly which is super far though like i feel like i've overstretched my elbow ouch anyway let's go use mr carson's freaking pantry and just see what we can do okay let's see here uh so it's gonna be over here if you guys haven't guessed yet and um it also has like some interesting you know what let's enlarge this room a little bit like that and also um let's also like add another another box over there this can be like a, the servant's um toilet or something like that yeah pretty much and let's just grab a nice little brick wall over there what i actually want to put here are more cupboards and stuff like that i know you guys literally though the freaking cupboards are like overused in this episode but whatever it kind of works you know i really like them and uh yeah mr carson does have these in his office though like legit so yes let's just grab that and then i guess these are like the things where he would keep like the expensive silverware and all that good stuff and of course we need to place in a nice little window as well uh let's see here oh my god i can't place it onto the center i can't okay let's see here that window placement though it's gonna bother me so bad uh you know what i guess do we need a window there i'm not sure i like how it looks from the outside hate how it looks on the inside though like it just looks freaking terrible maybe we can have like something in the middle of this i don't know you know what no windows for now whatever mr carson you're gonna live in like the darkest room in the house or whatever anyway let's just put that there was this in the center okay that's kind of about the center freaking iffy about the center you guys that's just me though and i guess we can always put like some nice little shelves for mr carson so that he doesn't feel so neglected i guess let's just place that there there we go fantastic and then let's also place i guess this more realistically though the function of this room could probably be something like you know this is where you would put your collectibles actually if you guys don't know in the sims 4 we can actually collect a lot of things very much like the sims 3 um in the sims 4 you can collect frogs you can collect um other than frogs you can literally collect you know stones and nice little artifacts and stuff like that i don't know what those are called though like um yeah but basically what i'm trying to say is that there's are a lot of collectibles in this yes the um it's at the tip of my tongue you guys uh the my sim trophies yes i love collecting those i think those are freaking adorable and yeah i just it just makes me smile every time i collect them and yeah so basically you can collect those and pretty much place them on this area over here um so yeah i wish we can place these wine racks as well but whatever it it works you can't have everything Ooh, this is nice it's for the bath i should really like get work on the bathrooms and stuff but whatever let's we'll figure it out later on okay now i don't know where the door is gonna be though and i can't seem to recall whether mr carson has a door yeah i think he has a door so let's give him a door of course 
<laughs> Let's give him a nice little door for his office area and stuff like that. Okay, it's probably gonna be over here. We can use these this these <laughs> we can use this door I guess for the staff. I think it looks lovely. If I can put it over there in the corner, that would be amazing. Yes, I can. Yes, I love this feature in The Sims 4, though. I really do. Um, it's kind of sad, though, that in, for the main house, the doors are, like, super puny. And you know what? Let's We can always use these ones. If I can, like, color them differently, that would be awesome. Well, it does come in a white, though. So I guess it kind of works out. Whatever. It, it works. Um, let me just put that there. And then Mrs. Hughes can also have the same door as well. I'm not so sure where I'm going to put it, though. Maybe somewhere there for now. And so let's see here. Okay, Mr. Carson's office. Let's just give him a nice little... What else does he need? Nothing much, actually, for Mr. Carson. Um, we just need some... I guess we can put the exact same like arrangement over here like seriously though i'm like the laziest simmer ever like yeah put that there actually let's move the door a little bit so that it can it can fit you guys it's literally though gonna be the exact same thing i'm like i think it's okay you know uh it does look like something you would see in a servant's quarters of a great house so yeah and then let's just copy that you guys are probably like there's so many chairs there's like so many chairs though i'm like it's okay you guys this it's more realistic that way more chairs i like how it looks though it's kind of interesting anyway for mr carson's office area or like i don't know i guess it's his office right let's go to um surfaces and actually just grab a nice little table over here um that actually looks really nice but i'm not so sure if that's exactly what mr carson has for himself um i'm thinking just maybe this one would work and let's put it in the corner like that you know what whatever we can put it in the corner like that even though mr carson would probably have his table over like that though or actually like this, he would have it like this, but it's I can't put it like that, so I'm like, yeah, what to do? Yeah, let's do that, whatever. And then let's just change the color of it into a nice little... I keep saying nice little for some reason. Anyway, into a nice wooden color, and then let's just give him a nice little... A chair. Oh my god, abstain from saying freaking nice little. I'm like, yas. And then I guess his office can be maybe uh you know what let's do that whatever it works he's gonna turn his back on like the servants that are asking him for stuff whatever it works you know i think um realistically maybe over here i'm not so sure though i really want to put it like that like where's the move objects thing freaking sims 4 not having freaking move objects okay let's do that i guess that kind of works um and then we can put this nice little oil lamp oh my god you guys i literally just said freaking nice little 10 times <sighs> now i'm depressed okay let's see here what else do we need to put for freaking mr carson like nothing much actually uh, maybe i want i would put a rug for him or something a nice rug for Mr. Carson. I was literally supposed to say. <gasps> Freaking nice little though. <laughs> you know what? Let's not give him a rug. That That's kind of okay. I think it's okay for now. And then I guess we can even start work on Mrs. Hughes as well. So, oh yes, I forgot. Totally forgot that we probably need to put something like this for Mr. Carson. On the other side, I doubt we can put actually. Uh, let's see here. Nope, we can't. Um, maybe the smaller one. Actually, would work better. What do you guys think? Um, and then if we can make it into like a nice black or like dark color. Um, I actually, you know what? I feel like that kind of works. I feel like it kind of works. Let's make it green. Whatever yes awesome 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 this area is a little bit empty though i'm like what do i put there um for mr carson uh, whatever maybe a telephone actually that would be really cool um let's place 
a nice little telephone nook over here i literally just i literally just said nice little again let's put a telephone corner over here uh, i remember in like well that was probably like season two downton abbey where they literally got a phone and mr carson was so funny with trying to adjust to how to use the telephone and stuff like that so freaking funny i love mr carson sometimes though he can be like a dinosaur and stuff like that but other times he can be really endearing and let's put the telephone outside actually i guess we can use this thing and or maybe even like what do you think um right next to his desk like that and then let's just change it into a nice little literally though i'm gonna bang my head the next time i say freaking nice little excluding that time anyway let's do elect oh my god are you freaking kidding me i totally forgot you guys but there is no telephone in the sims 4 actually there's no literally there's no telephones period like there were like EA was probably like, screw you bitches for complaining and all that stuff. No telephone for the freaking Sims follower. Nope, nope, nope. Anyway, I guess that's gonna be it for Mr. Carson's office. I really like the servants' quarters, you guys. I really like how it turned out. I think it does look a lot like Downton Abbey, and I think that's what makes it so endearing to me and stuff like that. And it's really nice. Um, I feel like it's gonna be really, really dark though at night. What do you guys think? Um, evening and then nighttime yeah it does feel like it's gonna be really really dark at night but anyway last thing that we're gonna do for today is probably mrs hughes's office here and then we can probably call it a video okay looking at mrs hughes oh my god let's see here what does she have though in her office um mrs hughes uh okay i guess it can be this one and then um yeah, I think this spot is okay for Mrs. Hughes. Let me just move that door, though, like, somewhere else. Maybe some like, there. I guess that works. And where she can literally, like, keep, keep an eye on, like, people entering the house and also exiting the house as well. Anyway, I think one of my favorite characters from the downstairs of Downton Abbey is definitely freaking Mrs. Hughes. Because she's just really awesome, you know? She, she protects the staff she kind of like she's kind of like the mother of the downstairs of downtown which is kind of like i love her so much i love how she protected branson or helped him get past that one what's her name braithwaite ah oh, i hate it anyway that that girl was such a bitch i hate her so much like seriously though she basically her story was like she was gonna use branson which is kind of like the outcast of the family because she was like gonna pretend that she was pregnant it's it's so freaking dramatic you guys it's not even funny but yeah so i think one aspect of mrs hughes's um mrs hughes's office that we can totally not neglect actually is the fact that she has these windows uh that she uses to listen to other people's conversations so let me just grab that window and then just plop it over to mrs hughes's office that would be that would be that would, be, blah. that would have been so awesome if i can put that on the center but whatever uh let's just put that there i think it works and then let's see here let's turn that around if we can there we go and then actually the desk can go maybe there it's kind of a tricky room to play around with because it's it's round. <laughs> anyway, let's see here. I'm not so sure. I'm I'm really, I really don't. I'm not. I'm the type of player. Blah. Literally though, you guys, I'm the type of person who really doesn't pay attention to Mrs. Hughes's room, even though I really really like her. I'm like I don't give a crap about how her room looks like. So I'm just pretty much inventing this as we go. Um, use that, and then we can probably grab a nice little. Literally, I just said freaking nice little again. Anyway, let's just grab that again. Plop that over here, I guess, or something like that. Yeah, let's pop up that. Plop that there. And then let's literally copy the exact same arrangement that we have for the other. Actually, you know what? Let's grab this thing, move that away, put that there. And then this one we can put over here here ish or maybe even at the center nope there's no center let's put that there put that there like that i guess or maybe even on top of the door if we can we can't oh 
You know what? Let's give her a special window, actually. It's it's not even like a window or something. It's more of like just a slit in the wall. <laughs> I, I want it to look really pretty, though. So maybe we can... Yeah, let's use that. That's a little bit big, though. I'm like, yeah. Oh my god. Crap. Are you freaking kidding me? I freaking accidentally pressed something. One second, you guys. And um, this will be really fast. Okay, whatever. Let's go back to freaking Downton Abbey, and I feel like I'm freaking all over the place. Freaking all over the place. Let's see here. Um, I hate the loading screens, you guys. If it's one thing that I really dislike about The Sims 4, it's the the death of creative style and the open world. But anyway, um, we'll make it work. You know, I'm the type of person who, I'm pretty sure you guys might probably have guessed by now, but I really do. Try my best to make things work and to not complain about everything. So yeah. Uh, let's give her this window, which okay, it's not two by two. I'm like seriously though, where's like the nearest? That is too obvious though. You know what? I really like the this one. It's either it's between this one or you know what? Whatever. Let's do that. Well, let's. Put, it's it's kind of sad that it's literally like the same exact window, but whatever, it works. And then let's just grab that. Put that there and then pretty much the exact same arrangement as i was saying before hopefully the music isn't too loud if it is i apologize but i think it isn't i'll figure it out i'll, I'll do something with my settings a little bit later on um but yes i guess that's gonna be that for mrs hughes's office and um literally probably looks nothing like her office but whatever you guys i did my best you guys know i did my best and it looks lovely. I think it does. I like how the cabinets are arranged and stuff like that. But and there can all there can also be like a Mrs. Hughes toilet, you know, because she's too shy to use the public toilet and stuff. So she's she has her own, I guess. And then all these other corner towers are probably gonna be toilets as well. But you know what, guys? I think that's gonna be it for this part. Okay, so did you guys have fun? Was that fun? I think that was really fun. Anyway, if you guys like favorite and Please like, favorite, and subscribe because it really does help my channel out a lot. It really does mean a lot to me if you guys subscribe because that means that my channel is growing and I'm just really, really thankful for everybody who has supported me up, up to this point. I just, I'm just really, really thankful you guys and yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Um, there will be a couple of more parts coming, especially with the upstairs of Downson and all that stuff. But I feel like I'm going to also be doing some furnishing off camera just to give you guys a little bit of a head start with like the hallways and all that stuff. Random areas in the house that are, you know, not necessarily like the focal points of everything. But anyway, um... I just want to thank you guys so, so much for watching and for everything. You guys have made an amazing difference in my life. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. And yeah, this is like the longest outro ever. But you all have an awesome, awesome, awesome damn freezer bunny. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.